Hey everyone, Austin here with Real Seal, and today we're going to be doing a video to talk to you about the most common questions that we get regarding drain tile systems. Drain tile systems are four inch perforated pipes that are laid underneath your floor or outside your home in order to gather water up from underneath the floor, run it to a sump pit, and disperse it away from the home. The first question you may have with drain tile systems is why do I even need one? A lot of people have lived in their homes for decades and never had water come through the floor and then one spring all of a sudden water's coming up through cracks or near the cove joint where the floor and the wall meet and they're just wondering why did this happen? Homes just like anything else deteriorate over time. A lot of the old homes that were installed with clay drain tile systems also clog or collapse over time and will need to be replaced. New techniques and products for these drain tiles allow for much more efficient and longer lasting systems. You can ensure that you have a dry basement for decades and decades to come. When do I need to have a drain tile installed? First is if you are seeing water come up through the cracks in your floor or through the seams where the wall and the floor meet. This means there's a lot of excess water built up underneath your floor and home that's trying to push its way through. The other situation is when you're going to be finishing your basement. The last thing that you want to do after you finish a basement is to have to rip it all out in order to install the drain tile system. Another common question we get is can't I just put a pump in there? Sump pumps usually only disperse water under the floor from about three to five feet away from the pit. In order to get all of the water collected from underneath the floor in your basement, you need that drain tile so that it can run all of the water efficiently to a pit. Especially with these larger basements, you may even need two sump pumps with the full drain tile system in order to make sure that that basement is warranted to stay dry. What materials are used for a drain tile? Well, we have two different materials that are generally used. The first is the most common, which is the corrugated black perforated pipe. It's got a sock over it and it's laid underneath the floor and it's generally used for interior drain tile systems, especially in the suburbs of Chicago. Once it's embedded in a bed of gravel and then overlaid with concrete, it doesn't move even a little bit for the life of the foundation. Another product that is used is this sewer perforated pipe that is actually a solid pipe instead of the corrugated flexible pipe. This is code for using in Chicago as they require to have this installed with the other proper fittings and cleanouts. You will always want to remember to install this holes down so that the water can enter as it rises up and be driven away. Does a drain tile system need to be graded? Just like your sewer pipes in your home, a drain tile absolutely needs to be graded at the rate of about an eighth of an inch per linear foot. This allows for proper water flow, plus if you install it level, you could end up with either system, the corrugated or the solid pipe, ending up having little dips in there that allow water to gather and then heavy storms could build up and cause a flood or a leak in your basement. Why would you bring water into the basement in order to get water out of the basement? It's kind of a misnomer as the water is always underneath your floor and we're not changing much about that except installing pipes under the floor to gather that water so it doesn't rise to the level of your floor and flood your basement. The sump pit and pump absolutely need to be in your house for multiple reasons. One, so you can properly maintain it easily and two, because when the winter hits, you don't want those mechanics outside where they can freeze up and fail and then cause a problem with the system. Why can't you just tie a drain towel into the ejector pit that's already down there? Well, ejector pits are used for septic sewer systems. This is for the gray water. Now, even though in the city of Chicago, it does require that everything is tied into the sewer system, we still need a second pit for the stormwater system because they require two different pumps. Just in case one fails, they don't both fail. Additionally, you would be contributing to the overflowing of the sewer systems, which really cause all the backup of the sewage in people's homes. So these systems must be separate and the drain tiles are typically run to an outside discharge line to disperse into your yard. Why do I have to remove finished areas in order for you to install a drain tile system? A lot of times we need a wall covering in order to capture water that comes through the wall, especially if you have a cinder block wall, and the floor in order for us to install the pipe underneath the floor. Now, if you do not remove the drywall, the concrete that's re-poured can't properly make a seal behind the drywall, and it will cause excess humidity to come up behind that drywall and cause a mold issue. 
Furthermore, it won't be a great base for that drywall, and you could eventually have cracking in the drywall and problems down the line. It's best to get the project done right the first time, remove everything out of the way, and then replace it once it's done. What is iron ochre, and how do I know if I have it, and why is this significant? Iron ochre is a bacteria that grows underneath the home in the dirt in drain tile systems. And basically it looks like blood orange lava. And what it'll do is it'll build up and build up. And if you've ever seen a waterfall freeze over, it'll kind of look like that as it's coming into your sump pit. And what it does is it clogs the system. There's no getting rid of iron ochre and that's why it's such a big problem. And so in order to take care of this, we have to install cleanouts and a solid sewer pipe system that'll allow that water to run better. And then you have to do monthly maintenance by dropping bleach tablets down into the system. In this case, you'll need a variance from the village if you don't live in the city of Chicago in order to tie that into the sewer system because you obviously don't want bleach and the iron ochre going into your yard. Another major question we get is, do I have to do the whole basement or can I just do one wall? There's only water coming from this one wall. Well, there's water underneath the entire foundation and that's simply the spot that it's found to come through. It's very important to get a full drain tile perimeter system installed. Now, if you only get a partial system done, most companies only warranty within three feet from the wall and up to where that drain tile stops. So if that drain tile stops and a foot away it starts leaking or in the middle of the floor it starts leaking, that is not covered. However, if you get the full perimeter system done, the middle of the floor is even covered and you are most protected. What is the warranty for drain tile and does this cover any damages done to my home if the basement were to flood after we had the system installed? Most warranties for drain tile systems are lifetime warranties. And again, if you get the full perimeter installed, it'll warranty even the middle of the floor. It does not, however, cover any damagings to finishings, PlayStations, TVs, or anything down in the basement. The reason is most waterproofing companies are not insurance companies, and so they cannot handle claims for damages to your home. That would be done through your home insurance policy. The warranty for the drain tile means that if it were ever to leak, the company will come back and service that system at no cost to you. You will possibly still have to remove and replace drywall or framing, maybe some tile or flooring that's in the way, and that would be at your cost. But the entire installation or repair of the system would be at the company's cost. I hope you've enjoyed the video and this helped answer some of the questions that you may have about a drain tile system. It's a great way to help increase the resale value of your home and protect the new finished basement and ensure that structural problems are kept at bay for a long time. If you have any questions, give us a call over at The Real Seal, where not everything's better when wet.